Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Saturday, March 3rd, 2012. We're in the studio with William Beckett. Look like a lush, talk like a tease The way you like it Run on your house alone on the street. You ask me to come inside, asleep through all our classes. You hang me out to dry. If this is a test, I'm losing my shit. Would it kill you to care as much as I did? I'm wasting my breath You're a stranger I know well And not at all do, 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 do. Do, 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 Heart on a hook Thrown out to the sea Your basement busy Sitting in the dark, I turn the radio off for a phone call you'll likely miss. Wake me when it's over. The last sound of goodbye. If this is a test, I'm losing my shit. Would it kill you to care as much as I did? at Audio Tree Live. Thank you, Will. Good to be here. Man, it's nice to have you here, bro. I'd love to hear about some of the music that was in your household when you were growing up. Oh, yeah, What kind sure. of music was your, your family playing when you were young, you know, before the age of 10? Well, there aren't any musicians in my family besides me. Right on. However, my dad would like to think that he's a great singer. <laughs> um, <laughs> growing up... Um, my dad would walk around the, uh, the house with me while he was supposed to, you know, it was, it was supposed to be cleaning day, but it was pretty much just walking around the house with me like, uh, like I'm a guitar. I was probably like four years old, three years old, and um, he would run around playing kid guitar <laughs> uh, while we listened 
to Billy Idol, Rebel Yell. <laughs> <laughs> so that was that. I mean, Rebel Yell was was essentially, it was that. And then I remember seeing a video when I was really young of The Cure, and um, and I asked my dad. I was like, "Whoa, Dad! Like, what's what's this? You know?" Because it was it was it was a little creepy too. You know, I think it was something from. Uh, a disintegration or wish I, f I don't remember which song it was but um he's like yeah that guy that's the boogeyman no. <laughs> i'm like no robert smith's not the boogeyman so then i, I grew up uh <laughs> loving the cure and yeah. pretty much not listening to billy idol at all so it's funny how things work out that's a fair transition though from billy Idol. i'm okay with it yeah man dig it dig it thanks for being here with for sure This one's super fun. This is a this is a brand new song called Girl You Should Have Been a Drummer. She's a dangerous kind and I like it that way. On the night we met, she sent an SOS to me upside down with the look on her face. a perfect mess, a real one of a kind And when the curtains closed, we were getting close And the clothes in the corner laid there all night Oh, she didn't skip a single beat Left me there while I was still asleep Girl, you should have been a drummer Break me down like no other Beat my heart black and bruised No one does it like you do no doubt you got perfect rhythm Crash and burn and then it ended You played me so hard, so fast Just like heavy metal thunder Girl, you should have been a drummer But when the morning came along didn't say goodbye, but I didn't mind Cause a scratch is what you're gonna get When you open the door and let a lion inside Ooh, she didn't skip a single beat Left me there while I was still asleep Girl, you should have been a drummer Break me down like no other Beat my heart black and bruised No one does it like you do No doubt you got perfect rhythm Crash and burn and then it ended you Never skipped a single beat. Drummer. You break me down like no other You beat my heart black and bruised No one does it like you do No doubt you got perfect rhythm Crash and burn and then it ended You played me so hard, so fast Just like heavy metal thunder Girl, you should have been a drummer William Beckett on Audio Tree Live. Thanks so much, Will. Awesome, man. Thank you. I I'm hoping you can share some of the songwriting process, the differences in your songwriting processes as opposed to writing with a band now you did your solo. Yeah, for sure. Um, I've done a, a, a lot of studio work, so yeah. most of the songs that I've been writing um, and that I wrote for the past year have, have happened in the studio. So I've been nice. working with a producer and being able to, re, you know, um, imagine what the instrumentation sh should be around a song and then be able to actually um, put it 
into life, and that was, that's been a really, um, you know, eye-opening experience to write in a studio um, where you have access to, you know, every instrument and be able to, to you know, put my vision on on a on a hard drive. Yeah, I, mean, I was, I was going to say on tape, but no one no, no one does that anymore the except for Foo Fighters. Tape, it's all good. The Foo Fighters do, but you know. So what what are the biggest differences between bouncing, say, your musical ideas off a producer as opposed to your old bandmates? Well, you know, it's it's different. I mean, I'm actually really enjoying the freedom of, you know, being able to make to really call all the shots. Yeah. You know, um, it was a, a while there when, you know, you compromise on everything and. I, you know, just to be frank, I've never cared about being cool or like fitting into to anything or to any group of people, um, or particular, yeah, and, and any music genre as well. Dude. And um, uh, being in a band, you have to really deal with the cool police. You know, I mean, everyone, everyone's a, a critic, and um, that's great to us, you know, to a certain extent. But at this point in my career, um, I just really want to be the only one that I answer to and have f full control of the songs and full control of the vision. Dope. Dope, man. So when, when you were with the, with the Academy is, mm -hmm. was that a collective effort in the, effort in the songwriting? Were you guys all yeah, putting um, it together? Mike and I were, were songwriting partners for the most part from the, the beginning, and then um, some of the other guys you know, did come in and, and contribute as well after the fact. But most of it w was written on an acoustic guitar he would show me the riff because I suck at guitar, so he would show me the riff, and then I would go in the other room and play it uh, for hours and write the you know right the rest of the song. Um, but that's sort of how it went for a while, and we did you know a lot of great things together. But well, it's got to be a bit you know freedom though to go down to the absolutely. Take the next I mean, in. that's great. The, the freedom has been amazing, and I've been able to do things that I haven't that I haven't done and things I never dreamt the Academy is, would do and it just c comes to the point where artistically and creatively um, and you know I, I needed to to start over and um, and uh, function with no rules function yeah. with no 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 uh, you know unchecked and um, without compromise yeah man write your own textbook on this shit, dude. For sure. Thank you, William. It's, it's beautiful to have you here today, man. Thanks so much. Absolutely. It's great to be here. And I'm going to play you a song called Compromising Me. <clears throat> Early in the morning, feet stuck underground. Gotta fix my cup of caffeine, then I'm turning things around. Climbing up the mountain, a piano on my back Gotta cut it loose, throw away the noose and forget about the past I know you're gonna say am I cool enough to tell all your friends I screwed it up I could give two shits, just let me breathe I don't, I don't care what you're saying about me into silicone drones Early in the morning Feet stuck underground Gotta fix my cup of caffeine Then I'm turning things around Yeah Climbing up the mountain A piano on my back Gotta cut it loose Throw away the noose And forget about the past I know you're gonna say am I cool enough Tell all your friends I screwed it up I could give two shits, just let me breathe I don't, I don't care what you're saying about me No, I don't care I don't, I don't care what you think about me No, I don't care Well, I can't let you be this kind stare Compromising me Come 
comatose bones into silicone drones Leaving it behind me Snake skin in my tracks The venom could have killed me I sucked it up and spit it back Oh, you can take it back When you finally close the window You find an open door But it's up to you to walk right through And forget about before I know you're gonna say am I cool enough Tell all your friends I screwed it up I could give two shits, just let me breathe I don't, I don't care what you're saying about me No, I don't care I don't, I don't care what you think about me No, I don't care Well, I can't let you be this constant Compromising me Toast bones into silicone drones Drowning and drowning and drowning into deep doubt Comatose bones into silicone clones Drowning and drowning and drowning into deep doubt Yeah! William Beckett in the studio Audio Tree Live Thanks, William Thank, Thank you so you. much, man Hey, I'm hoping you can share a, a profound concert experience that you've had Maybe it's playing in a band or, or witnessing a band on stage, young or old, you know, at any age. For sure. Um, um, a few years ago, the Academy is was um, was fortunate enough to get over to Europe and do a bunch of um, a bunch of music festivals there, and uh, we were able to play with some incredible bands that we never thought. I mean, I, we played with Muse and uh, and the Arcade Fire and. I remember it was Belgium, I believe, and... Torhout worked there. Was it the Torhout Festival? or the It wasn't Torhout. I think well, it was Grass Right on. Um, but uh, um, the Arcade Fire was about to go on, and I'd never seen them, and I was like, listen, like, I'm, you know, I'm a huge fan. We all have to make sure that we see this thing. And our set time lined up so that would be possible. So we go over there, and um, the sun is just about to set, there's, you know, probably 10,000 people there, um, and more coming, just more walking up as they start to play, and the experience to, of seeing them there, um, that, you know, that evening, with the sun going down, with everybody feeling it so much, you know, like, the, the crowd was feeling it so much, and so was I. I mean, it, it was this really, it was the first time in since I was, you know, going to shows as a fan that I realized that I'm, like, why I love live music so much. It was like, I, you know, it it overwhelmed me almost, you know. It was like a religious experience to, to you know, to be there. And th I remember that all the time. I remind myself of that every time that uh, that I step on stage because if if I can help and and be that experience for someone else then 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 what I do with my life is worth it. Yeah, man. That's what it's all about, right? Yeah. When you can have that moment when everybody's captivated by people making sounds on stage. It's an incredible thing. That's ex it is. thank you so much for sharing that moment with us. Absolutely. Yeah, dig it. I'm I'm get some H2O. Yeah, man, hook it up. And let me ask you this too, man. When you want to be in a good mood, what song do you want to do you put on? The question, what's one of the happiest songs that you know? Um, when I want to be in a good mood. Um, basically, there's this, okay, this is kind of crazy, but there's this, <laughs> I have a four-year-old, and she she sings this song that's so nuts. It's basically, she and she sings it um, with kind of like a, <laughs> kind of voice, you know, like a, it'll make you feel much better, you know, like, like, you know, out of one end of your mouth only. And uh, the song's like, Why do you have to be so serious all day long? Why don't you try joining me in this jokey little song? It'll make you feel much better if you're feeling down. I like to sing this jokey song because I like to clown around. <laughs> yeah, baby. I like to clown and lose a frown. I love to clown around. Yeah, so she does that and... I just think of that and it makes me smile no matter what the, 
the situation is because it's unbelievable. It's like 21st century vaudevillian. It is, it is. Beauteous. <laughs> it is. And the kicker is that it's a clownfish singing it. So I like to clown around that, you know. Yeah. So I want to play some more songs. Is that cool? This one is also on uh, on the new EP. It's called You, you Never Give Up. It's kind of an, an ode to my fans. You never give up You never give up on me You never give up on me When I cry Tree Live. Thanks so much, but damn. It's a pleasure to be here, like I said. This is this place is amazing. If only the people on the internet could see how how, how awesome the vibe is in here. I mean you can see on in the frame, obviously this is a this is a great spot, but I'm having a great time. So thanks for having me. Family Willie. We're entering the psychoanalytical portion of the session now. Oh I've been looking forward to this part actually. That's why I brought my computer <laughs> so that I could look up the terms that you throw at me. If you had to be a life form other than human, what life form would you be and where would you exist in the universe? Oh, wow, you, that's amazing. You don't have to be real. You just have to be a life form. <sighs> Mountains. The earth is alive as well. Just, it is. Yeah. You know, the hills are alive. <laughs> with the sound of music. Indeed. 
Yeah, baby. The hills don't have eyes, though, thankfully. <laughs> no, that one's... Let's not go to the scary movie. I'd be one of those guys <laughs> in the hills have eyes. Let's keep it Julie Andrews all the way. Baby. Okay, Julie Andrews. Um, yeah, life form. A, a life form that I, I don't know. I mean, I think it'd be... It'd be interesting to be... Um, to be a tree. I think it'd be cool to be a tree. Yeah. And I'm not just saying that because I'm at Audio Tree. <laughs> uh, but I think it would be cool to be a tree. Just, um, you know, everything changes so much. Uh, like, I would want to be a tree that loses its leaves and then grows them back seasonally. Yeah, man. Because I, I feel like, like the human condition and life for, um, for everybody is, is a lot like that. And I think that growing up in the mid in the Midwest um, and being, being around seasons and, and, uh, you know, and those physical changes that are happening around you, you know, every few months, I mean, day to day, yesterday, you know, like, um, it's, uh, it's extraordinary. It is. It really is extraordinary. And, and to be some, you know, a tree is so, um, you know, uh, solid and grounded and, 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 uh, you know, uh, like a pillar amongst all, all of this, you know, constantly changing uh, world around him. So I think that'd be interesting just from to like watch watch days pass, watch years pass. Yeah, man. There is no death. Life is constant rebirth. And, until they cut me down to build a uh, but even then a basketball would, court somewhere yeah, or like a birdhouse. But then I'll be you know yeah a birdhouse. Right. A bird. But you know <laughs> it, if I wore a tree, I would want to be cut down to build a basketball court. So that I could live on, right? Uh, you know, with the souls of of punk kids, sneakers. But we'll just call you a redwood, you know, so you could be like five, six hundred years in the making. Yes, animals would be living in you and stuff. Animals living in you. Me. Animals even, are already living in me. <laughs> you might even get a guy protesting something going up and living in you too. Yes. <laughs> or a gal. Yes. The redwoods do that. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, Redwood, I'm sold. I'm feeling you, man. The cool. tree, I love. Beautiful answer, William. Thanks. Strong. Um, how much time are we looking at? Hey, man, we got all the time in the world. And you got a couple more for us, don't you? Yeah, I think. I'm going to play you one of my favorite songs right now. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's called You and I Against the World. is a little strange I wouldn't want it any other way You and I against the world We don't really get much sleep But we haven't given up the dream Strangers in our own town We found a way out Say goodbye to all those places Familiar names, familiar faces You and I, we never had a chance in hell You and I against the world You and I against the world Clothes hanging on the door Rolling around on the floor Nothing can tear us apart I dare any one of them to try Doing everything for two Making it all come true We never had a chance in hell Just look at us now The sun is up, the clouds are breaking There you are asleep and naked I kiss you now
your names, familiar faces I kiss you now, but I don't want to break the spell I can't do this by myself You and I against the world 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 What are some uh, current music that you're listening to that you're really loving, man? I guess it could be old music, too, but, like, what's floating in your boat now? I mean, um, right now, I mean, I, I, I'm digging, like, a lot of stuff. I like finding stuff that I haven't, like, that I haven't found at all. So I, I've been on Spotify a lot lately, and my friends keep on hitting me on Spotify, like, check this out, check this out. Um, but lately, I mean... It's hard to say. I mean, I've been so wrapped up in, in, in you know, making my record. Yeah. Basically, I've, I've been listening to myself a lot lately. Fair enough. No. A, a whole bunch. <laughs> but other than that, like, I don't really listen to um, too much current. I mean, I'm looking at, like, talking, like, the, the, uh, the talking heads. Yeah. Uh, I listen to a, a bunch. And um, uh, The Cure. And, um, Two timeless bands right there. Man. Yeah, I mean a lot of um, a lot of stuff that I you know grew up loving. I've been revisiting now because yeah. I feel like I'm I'm at a point you know in my life as well where the you know I'm I'm really getting back to the roots of 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 uh, of why I started music and how I started music. So um, I've been kind of reconnecting with a lot of that. That's great. Embracing the timeline of music in your life. Yeah. Dig it, man. Well, right on, bro. Do you have another one for us? Yeah, Possibly. I do. One song about a girl can't breathe when I'm around her. day in case she'll scratch the surface she'll never notice I'm not in love this is not my heart I'm not gonna waste these words about a
fucking audio tree live. Extraordinary voice. Thank, Thank you. you so Thanks much. so much. Jeez, Thanks man. for being Wow. Here. Incredible. Hey, hey, can you tell our audience where they can track down your music, man? Where they can yeah, find um, I have a brand new EP um, called Walk the Talk, and it is available on iTunes and the web store as well, williambeckettmusic.com. So, uh, and I'm also going out on a, uh, on a lot of tours this summer, so, um, so come check me out. Check that website, man. See when this Hit cat's coming to your city. Add me on Facebook He's or not whatever. To be missed. Yeah, Facebook that shit. Facebook me. <laughs> Internet, interweb. William Beckett, thank you so, much, so much, bro, man. This has been an awesome, awesome day today. Uh, this has been Audio Tree Live for Saturday, March 3rd, 2012. We've been in the studio with William Beckett. My name is DJ Evil Vince. Everybody have a safe and beautiful day. Thank you. <laughs>